John Clayton here, and we're talking with Holly, the appropriately named star. And Holly, first of all, welcome, and you have a very unusual hobby. Oh, it's not so unusual from all the people I know, but yes, I collect carousel horses. You have a very colorful, very big, wide selection. Now, how much does a carousel horse cost? It depends a lot on who the carver was, what material it's made out of. They have a lot of what we consider designer pieces that you can get now. Most of the stuff I have that's generally outside are copies of actual horses or their designer pieces. They're reasonably priced, anyone can get in, but they have no historic value. The real ones, because they stopped making them in the industrial age when the industrial cage around. What year is that? Um, around the 1920s. They used to carve them all. German immigrants came here, carved them. And then when you could make, it was just a seat on a ride, even though we consider it art. And when they could make the head out of metal, they made the head out of metal and they did the body out of wood or they did the head and the legs and the tail out of metal. Is it possible to still find carousel horses? Oh yes, oh yes. There was about a thousand carousels, they, they estimate, um, both traveling the country and then stationary at the end of the trolley lines when they were in their heyday. And then they started being dismantled and then when they began collecting them, you'd have 20 to 60 horses on a carousel, depending on it was a large one or just a little portable one. We're talking with the doctor and Mrs. Summit, and we're here because they are also collectors of a very unusual thing, carousel horses. Doctor, tell me, how did you get involved in carousel horses? I mean, that, that's a very weird thing to collect. It wouldn't have been my start, but Joe here, always loved horses as a very young child. Real horses. Real horses, okay. but the next best thing was the Pike Carousel in, in Long Beach, her favorite place to go. It burned to ashes. In a way, we, we filled a piece of that void with our first horse. When we got that little horse, which was a German horse out of an antique store, Joe spent the summer researching what she could find out about carousels, interviewed and became friends with operators of carousels in the area. It's not only horses. There was a time when menagerie animals were popular. So in addition to horses, we have lions, tigers, bears. Am I in a zoo? <laughs> yeah, you are. You <laughs> this is John Clayton closing out what I hope you found to be an interesting and unique look at some of these amazing animals. Oh, pardon me, not animals, but actually carousels. Until next time, John Clayton, thanks for watching.